Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. I'm sorry, but I can't let you just skip through content like that. There was nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow, just an empty broom closet. No reason to still be here. Maybe there is no path. Maybe we don't have a destiny. Maybe we can all do what we want. It was baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. He wasn't even doing anything. At least if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. As it is, he's literally just standing there doing sweet F.A. Just enjoying the bliss of inaction. Are you... are you really still in the broom closet? Standing around doing nothing? Why? Please offer me some explanation here. I'm, I'm genuinely confused. I don't owe you an explanation. I don't owe anyone anything. You do realize there's no choice or anything in here, right? If I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least you would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. But it didn't even occur to me because literally this closet is of absolutely no significance to the story whatsoever. I never would have thought to mention it. You never knew if trying to leave the broom closet would actually achieve anything, so you didn't Maybe even try. Maybe to you this is somehow its own branching path. Maybe when you go talk about this with your friend, you'll say, Oh, did you get the broom <coughs> closet ending? The broom closet ending was my favourite. I hope your friends find this concerning. I'm allowed to stay in the broom closet if I want to. I find it Stanley common. was fat and okay. ugly and really, really stupid. He probably only got the job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. That or with drug money. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. Never. How dare you say such lies? Well, I've come to a very definite conclusion about what's going on right now. You're dead. You got to this broom closet, explored it a bit, and were just about to leave because there's nothing here when a physical malady of some sort shut down your central nervous system and you collapsed on the keyboard. Well, in a situation like this, the responsible thing is to alert someone nearby so as to ensure that your body is taken care of before it begins to decompose. Hello? Anyone who happens to be nearby? The person at this computer is dead. They have fallen prey to any number of your countless human physiological vulnerabilities. It's indicative of the long-term sustainability of your species. Please remove their corpse from the area and instruct another human to take their place, making sure they understand basic first-person video game mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming so that the irony and insightful commentary of this game is not lost on them. All right, when you've done that, just step out into the hallway. Someone call an ambulance. My internet friend has passed. Ha, huh, my pace is to die for. I'm trying my best. So, it's a nice closet though, you know, the rooms and stuff. Any, any more dialogue? Ah, second player. It's good to have you on board. I guarantee you can't do any worse than the person who came before you. I can certainly try to do worse if you'd like. You too? Unbelievable. I'm at the mercy of an entire species of invalids. Perhaps there's a monkey nearby you can hand the controls to. A fish? Fungus? Look, you can hammer out the details. I'm not particularly picky. I'll just be waiting for when you're ready to pick up the story again. Filtered. I'm here and ready to play.